Well, it's me again. Um, no more Stalin jokes. <laughs> um, no, I, first off, I wanted to um, let you guys know that uh, Nicola, Michela, and Sylvania from La Guada, uh, founders are here. Um, Adelio's father uh, had to stay back there working. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, so La Guada. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about Lot Water. They're, they're not super well known in the U.S., but around the world they're very well known. Uh, they're definitely a top quality, uh, recognized throughout the world. So we want to talk about state-of-the-art vertical grinding uh, and the flexibility and automation that Lot Water has. So I'm, again, my name is Cliff Green, and I'm with TSS Sales and Service, and I'm the West Coast agent for Lot Water. So a little history for you from introduction. So they were founded uh, in Como, Italy in 1978. And in 2013, last year actually at Vitrum, they celebrated their 35th anniversary. So they have 36 years of experience in manufacturing glass processing machines, and they're definitely considered a leader around the world. So some facts and figures, uh, there's about 2,500 machines throughout the world. Uh, we have 25 agents, and about 80 to 90 percent, 85 percent of the products sold actually are exported from Italy. And we sell in more than 90 different countries. Um, the largest customer of La Tuata has 50 more, 54 machines. So that's, uh, that's quite a statement there. Um, so production, so products. Okay, so we have straight line uh, edging machines. Um, both flat and with variable angle, with or without PC. Uh, we have beveling machines, uh, double edgers uh, for flat with errors, uh, and then automatic machines for corner grindings. I know that was kind of like the, one of the first machines that what it did. Uh, it was kind of a unique design. I think we have a picture of it coming up. It's a very cool machine. It's, you're doing a lot of radiuses. It works quite well. Um, and then vertical washing machines. Uh, and we have more than 50 different models. So really, from you know start to finish, there's uh, a big range. So depending upon how big you are or your needs, we can pretty well cover it. So here's some pictures uh, of some of the edgers. Um, so there's 30 different models of straight line edgers, uh, ranging from five up to 16 wheels. So beveling machines. Uh, we have 10 models, and that's from 7 to 14 wheels. Uh, here's a double edger. Double edger is quite unique. It's, uh, it's very well made. Uh, very, very quite. I mean, most of the double edgers seems like are, are now out of the United States, but there are still some needs for that. Um, and from 5 to 12 cup wheels. This is the uh, corner grinding machine. I don't, I'm not sure we have a video. In, well, we don't have a video on it, but. Um, there's one on my website, and obviously there's videos on lots of water website. But this machine basically stick the, the corner of the glass in, you clamp it down, get a button, and there's a, uh, a template. And as it passes through four or five wheels, it'll grind and polish exactly to that radius. And it's very, very fast. So you, you've got a lot of radiuses that you're doing rather than setting it up on a CNC machine and programming tape however many minutes, this is seconds, so it's pretty cool. Um, so washing machines, uh, La Tawada also makes uh, washing machines, whether it's uh, in line or separate, or we also have buddy washers that fit on the exit conveyor of the, of the uh, edger, and it just follows or washes the top 20 or 30 inches of, of the glass, gets the, uh, all the, from the belt and stuff. Okay, so why should you use a lot of water machine? Well, it's ease of use. Um, we have customized solutions, um, very high performance. Our customers, uh, high high satisfaction, and uh, we have a good market presence. We we have a MTM in Canada, Eastern Canada, uh, Mexico, and then myself out on the west. Some of our strong points. So our machines are are very flexible, very easy to use, and very simple maintenance. And that's one of the things that's really cool about the machine is ease of use 
and the simplicity on the maintenance. And I'm going to go through a couple of those things and point them out. Won't cover all of them, but but definitely is is a good machine. Um, uh, so we we built these so that you're not spending a lot of time at the machine shop, or you know, uh, spend a lot of money at machine shops, and there's a long life. So I'm sure you're familiar with, you know, I don't know, you, but bevel strips. So when you get a new beveling machine and you've got a two-inch bevel strips, well, when it's brand new, it works really well. But then after a couple of years, you can't do those two-inch strips anymore. But with a lot of machine, you can. It could be 15 years old and you're still doing those two-inch bevel strips. Um, so high processing quality out on the outside on the lot of water booth, you, there was a four-inch sample of glass that was polished. Um, that's that's pretty impressive. Uh, and then we have African technical sales and support, um, and we customize the needs for our customers. So main technical advantages. Well, the conveyor. So most of our competitors use bearings, and we don't use a bearing. What we have is a backtrack slider. So you have a metal band, and that band may last five years, and when you have to replace it, okay, it's you know you're down for a couple hours and you know 300 bucks uh, compared to I don't know what a, a backtrack with bearings is going to cost, but definitely it's not in the hundreds. Uh, it's long life, very cheap and fast to maintain. Um, there's no pins to be changed, no bearings. Uh, no grinding is necessary for the pads. Uh, only steel bands have to be changed during the year, so it's not like month later. It's it's like after years. Um, and then we have an automatic lubrication system. Um, strong, reliable, big machines. Okay. So the spindles. This is also a difference in in some of our competitors. So we don't have motor spindles, so that your spindle is directly underneath, and so it's not in the water. The, the motor is off to the side, and it connects with a, a, a band, and then that runs the, motor, the spindle to grind the glass. Well, there's a couple other advantages, well, besides the fact that you're not, you know, changing the, uh, the motors that often, you get long life out of them, but also on the polishing side, when you go to, you know, adjust your polishing, when they're brand new, motors go up and it's perfect. But after a while, you go to adjust and you know, what do your operators do? They crank that baby all the way up so you're getting a lot of pressure and consistent quality on your polish. So with ours, you know, it's just a couple of pounds and it's, it goes. Um, so you get a longer life out of your wheels. Uh, you get more uniformity and quality during the processing. Uh, and only the inner shaft is moving up and down, like I said. So, okay, uh, wheel configuration. So we have a lot of different wheel configurations and we can modify those upon request. You know, um, different customers have different needs for what they're trying to accomplish. Um, we can use a mix of resin and polishing wheels instead of only using resin, for example. Okay, so we, we have a lot of versatility. So our miter machines in our migrant section we can have up to nine wheels inside the mitering section, which is, again, different than our competitors. So you can get a higher quality on that miter. Uh, we are UL and CSA, um, so we're using Rock, Rockwell Allen Bradley products. Um, we're UL CSA, we use AWG cables, um, and then all of these parts, we don't try to sell them. I mean, our, our, we're, we're not in the business of selling parts. We, we sell them if you need them, but we want you to be able to find them locally if you, if you want to do that too. Okay. Um, and then we supply a uh, transformer with our machine to handle whatever voltage. So whether you're in Canada or the US or Europe or wherever, we, we supply that transformer. So, um, so micro machines, again, um, easily adjustable. So with a micro machine, we're, again, we're a little different there. Um, most of our competitors, what happens is they'll adjust the miter and then they have to bring it in, right? We're in a center way. So it's, it's mechanically centered. So when you move it, you want 20 
degrees, and that's what it is. Okay. So, and to adjust it, you know, you just turn the dial, and you want 34 degrees, you turn it, and there it is. So it's it's very simple. Um, all our parts, high quality, whether it's from Jap Japan, Europe, uh, U.S., or from Italy. Um, and then we have a long list of options available. Quite a long list. You want a longer exit conveyor, you know, higher back track, um, you know, whatever. We have we have a lot. We also have a dubbing device uh, to knock off the, the sharp corners. Already mentioned the buddy washer, um, very efficient motors, um, energy saving. And obviously, you can see some more details in our booth than talk to me or Nicola or Michaela. Um, heavy duty machines. So, in 1999, we started production of straight line engine machines with the TLR series. Um, and this would, you know, process big jumbo sheets and glass up to 100 millimeters. And then in 2006, we added the TL and to TLS to the TLR family. And <coughs> And then in uh, 2009, we made a, a 15 spindle miter machine, call that the SP100. And then in 2012, um, we made the biggest engine machine in the world. So, some uh, more facts and figures. Um, you can come see our booth in the booth, and that's a picture of that, uh, that piece of glass up there, four inches. Um, so, Structurally, I mean, we can handle up to 3,300 pounds just in the uh, machine section. So if you figure the conveyors, you can pretty much double that. So as you, you can see you can handle a very, very heavy piece of glass. Um, high quality, great flexibility. Uh, we can you know, process anywhere from three up to three millimeter up to four inches. And again, nine wheels in the uh, migrant section, and the possibility to have uh, six arrows for finishing. Okay. Um, so this is to show you that you know when we when we give you a, a fact, we don't just say, well, you know, we designed it and we think it can do that. We actually test it just to make sure. So this is a steel plate. And, and basically what we did is we loaded that steel plate in and we had a, um, some kind of a meter or miter, uh, micrometer or something on there, a measuring device, sorry. And when we put it in, you could measure how much flex you had and it was basically zero. So this was the biggest machine ever built. That is one big machine. Nicola, what's the length of that? 26 meters. 26 meters by? Six meters high. Six meters. Who's, that's huge. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. 82 feet by 20. <laughs> one more click. Okay. <laughs> that should have been. Okay, automation. Okay. So, this is kind of, um, we're in the developing stage of this. Uh, this is about automation. Uh, and so, this is something, this is a project we're currently uh, working on. So, we can integrate a robot. I know there's two robots up here, but really it's only one. Because with a robot, you can't just be there. you got to have that fenced in, right? So what we would do here in this instance is we would have a robot on the exit conveyor of one side and the entry conveyor on the other side. And then, say, uh, here. Right there, okay? This robot wouldn't be here, but this is where the operator would be. And so the robot would pick it up from here, turn it, and put it on here. Would come out, and this, this operator would take one of my Richter manipulators and uh, <laughs> <laughs> little plug, sorry. I don't know. I <laughs> and it would just cycle through. Okay. So uh, now we're talking about a loop line, and so this is. Um, Kind of a unique little concept, but you'd have a loading system on over here, and it could be um, a, this particular loader is coming from the side, but you could have like a loader that would be a slot or a heart cart, uh, say from an IG line, that kind of thinking, right? And it would pull on into here, 
run through the uh, polisher, exit, and then this would back up. The glass would go back and spin right back here and then get put back on. So basically, you're doing all four sides automatic. The machine would keep track of the fact that, okay, I did four sides, and then it would transfer through, and this could be a CNC uh, top drill or CMS or whatever, um, and uh, then go out into a washer and then back into a uh, unloading, automatic unloading. So this is not just a dream. We're actually, we have a project that we're working on doing this. So right now the average throughput would be six to seven minutes per light, um, but we think we can get that down to about four or five. So uh, again, it's possible to integrate with a washing machine and vertical drilling machine, and that's just another example or a picture of that. Okay. So there's an automatic adjustment for pressures and speed dependent upon the thickness of the glass. So it limits the amount of input required from the operator. It'll be PC controlled, um, and you have remote management. So basically, um, you know, we can dial in and, and take a look and see what's going on. And then we'll have more options available soon. Um, another little feature that Lots of has is a parallelogram fixture, and so. There's a track up here and with little pins in it basically and, ba and you, you put this fixture on there and put the parallelogram in and so now your operator doesn't have to stand there and walk with the, the glass down the, the edge of it. And then at the end there's a, a, a little box that automatically takes off that, that plastic holder and puts it in the box. So. Very, very cool little design. Uh, adds increased safety for the operator, uh, less cost. You know, one operator can basically continue to operate, run that, and, and get a higher productivity out of it. And as far as we know, we're the only ones doing this. They will offer that. So service and maintenance. Okay. So. Uh, um, our machines are, are mainly characterized by. Our flexibility and ease of maintenance is really just one of the, the, the hallmarks of Lots of Auto. So, and then we have after sale technical assistance. And um, so you can really reduce your maintenance costs on edgers with Lots of Auto, and that's, that's a big focus. So, okay. And we always have spare parts, original spare parts available. Um, we have a free helpline for any of our customers, and we have uh, local warehouses in California, Mexico, uh, and Brazil, and uh, Canada. And obviously, our parts are well known throughout the world. Okay, and customers um, is what we strive for, and so we have like a, a, a little coded thing that we put on the machine. So the operators know exactly what the settings are supposed to be, so they can go to it even if it's a new operator. Cliff, that, you on the left. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> is that you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> the one with no legs or uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Green, right? Okay, so uh, anyways, come visit us and and, and uh, ask us any questions. Uh, are, is there anything at this point that, uh, yes, Jim? Cliff, can you stop the empties and outfeed conveyor separate from the main conveyors? So you, you can, yep. So you can have the exit conveyor stopped or the entry conveyor stopped and the machine continue to process. Um, so yes. You can get different lengths on the entry versus the exit. So if you want a buddy washer, for instance, you may want a longer exit conveyor. Um, Any other questions? All right, well, thank you very much. I really appreciate your attention.